Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Jesse Jackson III. I'm the best-selling author and facilitator of the Don't Kick Them Out book and training series and the lead advisor and consultant here at the Best Man Company, LLC. One of the things that we have uh, really targeted and focused our energy on this year is providing mentorship and guidance to school leaders at all levels, whether it's school boards, superintendents, and principals. We have found that this is mandatory, and we have found that particularly in school leadership, it's probably one of the most undertrained positions. We might go to a lot of trainings. We might go to a lot of conferences. We might go to a lot of in-services. We might go to a lot of policy-based uh, sessions, but there's very little training and development in the areas that have been proven to be set, superintendents and principals, and those are issues of uh, you can't get academics right, so you're a functional F. Student behavior is ridiculous. You can't retain teachers. They're burnt out. There's toilet morale. Trauma is dominating the workplace, children and the, and the kids. Race and culture issues are sometimes beating you on a daily. And then in a horrible situation, uh, the streets have crept into your school. There's very little training you're going to get on these sub subjects. You're going to get theory. You're going to get uh, systems that they try to sell. Well, these are what's called very human-oriented issues, which means it's about personality, it's about community, it's about understanding what is the right people approach in these environments. So what school leaders need today is something that we're not offering. It's not an abundance of it. I had one of my coworkers tell me, I said, uh, the, the district was trying to fire this principal. Well, it's like I'm a teacher advocate, I'm a principal advocate. OK, you're not going to about to try to fire a super a principal and I'm in the mix. It's not going to happen. I want to know what, what's up. And they tell me everything she's doing wrong because of my experience with her was not that. This was she doing wrong. Boom, boom, boom. OK. Who trained her? That's when it got weird. Come to find out she wasn't come to find out. She just she's just getting told what to do. She hadn't been trained. Telling people what to do is not training. Training is a development and a growth process, and it's ongoing. We have gotten lazy about training. We are in services. We are box checkers. We're not training and developing people in critical skills. We used to What we used to call soft skills are now the skills that run organizations, the ability to communicate, decision make, uh, uh, to be able to uh, resolve conflicts. These are things that are destroying organizations, getting people to work together. It's not a soft skill. It's a discipline that is trained. So my concern is always for the principal and the superintendent. Right now, this, this year, uh, 2022, we've had a historic level of new superintendents, meaning they're in their first year. And here's the deal. Some inherited a great situation and were almost handpicked. And they were able to come in and take off and start running. The, the overwhelming majority, 75%, toilet. Finance is bumpy, compliance bump, bumpy, uh, spend numbers very high, workforce is not where we need it to be, uh, a lot of subs running classes, it's the things that are not right. Relationship and culture within an organization is very toxic and it's failing. What I have known that I have to do, and I've continuously been charged and charged, typically when it came to working with people uh, and I, I don't like to use the mentoring word because it's people choose you as their mentor. I never set out one day to get somebody to listen to me or follow me. I was just a trainer, man. I wanted to talk to teachers. Well, what has happened over this 17 years is as I started working with teachers and students, I have become very serious guidance and partnerships and deep friendships, pure love with many superintendents and principals who seek my guidance. And I think the thing, uh, I think my first superintendent that comes to my mind is about uh, in 2010, 2011, and she was just going through, God bless her, she's she's gone uh, now 
but we walked her through a very serious government takeover. Their, their district was like $9 million behind. It was horrible. The state's going to take it over. It was a horrible situation. And I just remember she always leaned on me. And the thing that she said to me was, I always know you would tell me the truth. And I just always thought that if 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 I saw my boss do that for his boss, right? They were they were best friends and frat brothers, older guys, obviously, but he would call him with serious situations. He let me stay in the room and I noticed that he trusted him and he always knew he would level with him. And that's how I came into the game. That's how I have uh, ascended to where I am now, to where superintendents trust me, school boards trust me, principals all over the world in multiple countries call for support and guidance. That is the greatest honor of my life that people choose me. They trust me. You can't say you're a mentor to people. You can't start a mentoring program. The people make you a mentor. And, uh, I just looked up the other day and I, and I have to, I realized I had to, to just accept this, that I have to reach out. I have to open myself up to reach out to people. I always say it. Well, the people that I advise, they're already in my program. Uh, but now I'm in a phase because I'm watching too many people fail. But see, here's the thing. I, I'm watching my people have historic success. You got to realize everybody with me came through COVID ahead. You got to realize my phone during COVID quadrupled. <laughs> Why? People are calling who they trust and know a level with them in the worst time in American history. What do we do with this race issue? The Floyd issue changed the country in May 2020. Districts that are dealing with race issues, they said, we've never got it right, Dr. Jackson. We believe that you can help us with this. Greatest honors of my career. And I'm watching friends of mine that have been with me uh, two weeks ago, somebody's been with me since 2018. We achieved, finally achieved at the high school level in a in a very very tough situation. Uh, they they achieved the national blue ribbon, the greatest honor you can be bestowed in our business. Uh, and they let me be a part of the team. I got to talk to the staff just as we were receiving our award and, and they let you be a part of that because they say you're a part of their team. You're a contributing factor to the school's success. That means everything to me. And that's why I've got into this is because it's the game is where my loyalty is. The loyalty is the teaching and learning because teaching and learning is the only thing I know that can save a kid's life who comes from a horrible situation and has bad parents. Teaching and learning can open a new door to you that was not available. And that happened at school. The school leader is the person that creates that environment so the teacher genius can go forth. I'm so proud of all of the people that have been with me, that have trusted me, dear friends all over the world, um, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, uh, Louisiana, Alabama, Texas, Michigan, Illinois, Missouri, uh, that have been with us. And it's a, such a blessing to me. So this is why I know that I have to launch this school leadership coaching program. I have to offer it, make it available where anybody who believes that I can help them can register. It has to be a simple cost where people can get in uh, and, and, and start working on their goals as a leader. I have seen too much success. And, and when my when that high school in New York, when they went blue ribbon, that's when I knew like, okay. I, I knew I had to do something. I had another coworker, man. Uh, they, they, they were F in COVID. They coming out uh, a low B, right? They got the test scores back the other day. Everybody's emotional. We're a low B. So this means the hard work we put in through a pandemic and getting the staff to believe and encouraging the leader and keeping the leader clear hard work pay off, man. You know, hard work pay off. I got schools of mine that have had their highest graduation rates of all time. 
in Arkansas, highest graduation rates. All they do is graduate kids. And that's happened. And they have allowed me to be a part of their team. They respect my voice. They respect my guidance. And I'm blessed to have that. I've also begun to see people who early on who might not have understood why I had to be so serious about we don't create cultures that hurt children. And I like to call it kill kids, because if you're not going to be able to read or follow instructions, your path out there is, is de you're a dead man walking. And so a lot of people, sometimes their staff is running their district and they'll be like, oh, we don't like Dr. Jackson. We don't want to hear what you got to say. Dr. Jackson. Mm -hmm. And they're like, well, we don't need no more of this Dr. Jackson teaching. And be like, they think they think they can fire me or push me out. I, I that's nothing happening. I, I'll quit you before you quit me. I know if it's not going to work, I don't need your money. I need you to do what I'm asking you to do. Help the staff so they can help the kid. That's the system. If we're running a kid first culture, you got to help the adults get them mentally right so they can help these kids. If you do that, that's the system. See, that's what people have lacked. And that's where my forte is. If we're kids first, and we all better be, you start with getting the, the adult's mind right so we can get where we need to go. So I'm seeing districts that that in the past, they got mad at me for whatever the, their reason was. They weren't ready. Now they're coming back. Well, who else? Why? Because, yeah, kids getting killed in the community, violence everywhere, kids getting killed on campus, shootings in the school, you know, 42 fights the first semester, fight video everywhere, teachers getting hurt, massive teachers calling off, not coming to work. Well, you're not going to fit. How are you going to fix that? You need some guidance to fix that. You need guidance when you got 13 teachers out on a Monday. Do you know what it's like to be a superintendent or a principal and you managing the trauma and stress of a 2,500 student district with 289 uh, employees and all of the trauma of their families is on your back every day? Where's the guidance for you, right? I've had my co a lot of coworkers get sick, go down because they don't know how to manage the situation that they've been gifted. I am here and I'm making myself available now to the end of my life as a school leadership mentor and advisor for all those who believe I can help them. Um, I'm here, I'm confidential. I'm opening my doors and my program to all those who believe in me and need that help. All of the information is below. It is a very simple thing. The way it works is every month uh, on the first of the month, you'll get sent a vid training video. So the way we do it is a, is a real fundamental thing. Uh, we release a, a training video every month at the first of the month. It'll be in your email. You can go in there, click, and you can watch it every month. Put new content out every day. No repeats. Um, and then you have access to me, Right. You have access to me. So you have my phone number and my email. When you need me, you have questions and things like that. You can always have that access. It's it's, it's a thing that I, I wanted to create. I wanted people to know if they need me, they can get me. And anybody that's been with me will tell you when they reach out, I get back to them within a day. Um, I'm a very busy guy, but I do respect time. And I respect the fact when people need you, they need you. And we try to make ourselves available. I'm really strategic with my time and I use my time very wisely. So what do you get in this, this program? You get a training video every month and you get email or phone access to me every single month. It's that simple. It's a pure connection uh, to someone you trust, someone that will not fail you. I pride myself on providing the best guidance to my people. And uh, you have to create the financial arrangement because that just shows respect for time. But I'm 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 just sold out to school leadership because the school leader creates the climate that puts the teachers in position to help my kids, and I love them all. And when I'm losing students, and 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 I got last month, we got 17 of my students murdered. I, I can't even talk about it right. It, <sighs>
less than 3% of my kids are reading proficiently at a high school. What are we talking about? The day of games are over. The day of rolling out new initiatives is over. The day of stressing teachers out um, is over. We need to know what to do. And we need to know how to move people and to mobilize people so they know how to help these children. That starts with you. If you know I can help you, the connection is now available. All the information is below. Training videos come out the first of every month. It'll be in your email with a new training video from me about real life topics that go on in school leadership. If you need me one on one, you're able to call me, uh, text. You're able to email me if you need me just as a neutral ear to walk you through some very serious situations. And you also get the connection of being with other school leaders that may be having the same problem. Uh, amazingly, I had two principals in the same state, 500 miles apart, having the same experience. They got put into a principal role involuntarily. The school's a mess. The kids don't want them there, i.e. the teachers. I've never seen it. Identical situation, two people that have never met each other, communities 500 miles apart. Same situation. You don't think they were able to help each other and feel comforted that they were not alone? Absolutely. That's what connection is about. Dr. Jackson here, available for you. Subscribe today. Get into our school leadership coaching program. I'm looking so forward to working with you soon. Be well.